Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the legend. How can we be of assistance? You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but our orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Let's get going. Who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. First of the Legion, and this gate to the West shall be ours this day. <laughs> you believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps
Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics or the strength of my forces. They will learn. We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. You play on my instincts. Yet your intention in this... You have nothing to gain by telling me of this... trap. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat, leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here, even as I take the dam. Telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words, and your coin is lacking. shall keep their old world gate this day. I shall return east. When I return, I shall have all the armies of the Legion with me. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, NCR. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least. That's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's gonna keep us going for a while. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run, but I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The Courier, fair and even-handed in her dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for her support of the military at Hoover Dam. She was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused 
and disheartened. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed, settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam, and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of herself. Then she figured, she knew that already. So she laughed, said fuck it all, and raised a bottle to the dam and the ones who had fought for it. As far as she was concerned, the whole thing was proof that playing out a bad hand can pay off in the end. As long as a woman, like the courier, was holding the cards. After their suicidal last stand at Hoover Dam, the Great Khan ceased to exist as a tribe. The few surviving members dispersed, joining up with other tribes and gangs across the Mojave, and quickly forgot their heritage. It took more time than anticipated for a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia to be found. But in the end, it was beneficial to Jacobstown. The presence of the Nightkin leader, Keen, persuaded Nightkin from across the wasteland to make the journey to the town. Jacobstown prospered, becoming known as a fair, if somewhat intimidating, place for a trader to do business. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. He had survived police service in Colorado, the Great War, combat duty with the Legion, and being the companion of the King. But in the end, Rex finally succumbed to the horrors of the Wasteland. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favored targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, NCR helps rebuild Prim as a major stopping point on the Long 15. Though Prim citizens chafe under NCR's taxes, they benefit greatly from the increased protection and merchant traffic. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>